Meine Süße, ich habe den Ozean überquert und stehe nun auf dem Platz unter dem Kommerzbankturm. Ich bin nicht sicher, ob du immer noch in Deutschland bist, aber wenn du es nicht bist, dann kannst du nicht weit sein. Als wir das letzte Mal miteinander gesprochen haben, obwohl du dich dabei geweigert hast, mir deine Adresse zu geben, hast du gesagt, wir sind in Europa. Und wir haben so I'm halfway closer to you than I was before. And my voice that much more capable of finding its way to your ears. This progress at the very least calms my agitation. You told me you had to cross the ocean to escape the rising waters. You said that our world was spiraling down around us. You told me you needed me to understand, to be open, to give you the freedom to move. It's the only way to survive, you said. You have said that we dramatically need to change the direction, to change the past, to change the future, and to change the future. Aber das hast du schon eine Million Mal gesagt. Und ich kann die Linie nicht finden, wie das, wo wir gewesen sind, von dem trennen, wohin wir gehen. You were the one who convinced me to believe. You said it was a life-changing choice. You told me not to be afraid. You said what was happening was real. That we were making history. That we could change the course of the future. This is, our moment. this is our moment. Take dramatic action. Say yes, you said. Say yes. And I did. I did say yes. And it was totally glorious. Nothing like it had ever happened to me before. Frank meetings, political discussions every night, talk about who we were and what we wanted, about the struggles we had been through, and about what would become of us. We worked and we worked and we worked and we were so happy. Every night we fell ecstatically into each other's arms. You whispered to me one night, that you felt at home for the first time in your 14 years of living in this country. But then after the inauguration, you started to slip away. You said you just couldn't stand the way things were going. You complained about the cabinet and that the economy was distracting people from the war. You joined meetings and dropped out. You wrote letters and you deleted them. You walked the streets and you came back complaining that nothing had changed, that everything was the same. This is not action, you said. I don't believe in you.